The decision to move to a new country is not an easy one. It takes a whole lot of courage, especially for those who have things going on well for them in their home countries, for people who have very good jobs, who have businesses that they've built to a point that they would say that they are really comfortable in their home countries. So when one partner wants to travel, for those who are married, the other partner is not in agreement. It's even very, very difficult. This is the situation of some people and we don't talk much about it. And then when children are even involved, it makes the whole thing a bit more complicated. This is something we'll be looking at in this video. So this video is really going to be interactive. So as I'm watching this video now, just like this video and try to leave your comments in the comment section okay whatever your thoughts are as we dive right into this my name is tochi you're welcome to my channel consider subscribing to this channel and you won't regret it and to my returning subscribers you guys are wonderful you guys are wonderful thank you all for your love and support i really appreciate so guys this video is brought to you in partnership with lemonade finance an app that me and many of my friends and family regularly used to send money to africa Lemonade Finance allows Africans in the UK and in Canada to send money to 10 African countries. So you can send money from the UK and Canada to Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, Senegal, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Benin, Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda at zero fees. Yes, guys, you heard me. I said zero fees. There are no transaction charges at all. The recipient receives the money instantly. And they have the best rates that you can find in the market. So you will always get your complete value for money. I've been using Lemonade Finance for a few months now, like you guys already know. So I can guarantee you that it's very fast, easy to use and completely free when it comes to sending money back home. So if you're not in Canada or in the UK, don't worry, I've got inside gist and I know that Lemonade Finance will be launching in the US and in Europe very soon. And when that happens, I'll definitely let you guys know. You can download the app with my referral link in the description box to get 10% cash back on your first transaction. You can also type in my code TOCHI if you've downloaded the app directly from the app store. That way you get 10% cash back on your first transaction above 100 pounds. So if you send 100 pounds, you get 10 pounds back. If you send 200 pounds, you get 20 pounds back and so on capped at 50 pounds. Like guys, this is free money. So guys, what are you waiting for? If you've been watching me and following me and you are yet to download Lemonade Finance app and you are in the UK and in Canada, please, what are you waiting for? Hurry now and download the app and start sending money to africa for free and don't forget to use my code tochi so you get the 10 percent cash back so guys back to the video somebody sent me an email i'm sure that he watched my video on things to expect on independent visa and this was what prompted him to send me this email and i can totally relate and i want you guys to tell me what you guys think in the comment section so let me just read the email for you guys and let's look at it together i'm doing this with his permission of course he wants to hear the contribution of others now he said hello tochi i got the link to your channel from a friend and i watched your videos and i have to say you're doing a good job oh thank you i want to ask your advice my wife is a nurse and passed her ielts a year ago after several attempts she eventually got a job in the uk now the issue is i have what i consider a good job in nigeria i earn in the region of 350k a month and i have opportunity to grow in my present job and even earn more money in the future I thought she could move to the UK while I visit periodically, but because we have two kids, she may not be able to manage alone with them and work. So the dilemma is whether to leave my present job and move to the UK and literally start afresh. And I don't know if I can find a job in my field in the UK. This may mean me starting from scratch. Please, what do you advise? What job opportunities do you think I can find? I also would not want to depend on my wife either. So guys, our friend is in a dilemma and he wants us to help him. I sent a reply though, but I'll get to that later. But I can totally relate to this to an extent because I understand that it's very difficult to relocate to another country. 
is a huge decision like relocating to a new country takes a lot of courage especially like he said if you have things going on well for you right if you've been following me on this channel or you've watched my previous video you will know that as a dependent it's really very difficult to get a job that you would love especially um, at the beginning part for instance on my case i'm a lawyer and i came into the uk so it's very difficult to convert and start practicing as a lawyer right and then i also have child care to deal with like Childcare is one challenge that has come to stay with us. Like, so long as you are abroad and you have kids, you would always have childcare to deal with un until your kids grow to a certain level where they can stay on their own for a while, then you're good to go. So like, these are some of the basic challenges that come with living abroad. Like it's a reality, okay? If you're in your home country, it's very easy to deal with it because you have your family and friends, you have your parents. Some people go and keep their kids with their parents and go back to work. You have crutches, you know, after three months, after four months, people go back to work, you know, keep their kids in, in crutch or in daycare and just go back to work. And you know, it doesn't really affect you. But it's not like that here. For the wise, I have colleagues who are asking me, like, my kids are with my parents, my kids are with my parents, because this is their country, they have their family here, so they don't really deal with that issue. But we as immigrants, we have to deal with that constantly. Every day is something that we deal with, okay? So most times when you come in here, you have to walk around shifts. You have to walk around the shift of your partner. So in this case now, your wife is a nurse and you're going to be coming as her dependent. She's the one that's on a permanent contract. You are not. So what I would advise is that maybe your wife can talk to her employers. If she can be permanently on night, she can be doing like permanently night while you do the day shifts, right? So when she's doing night, she can do the school runs during the day. You go to work or she does day shifts and you do night shifts. So basically you have to work around your wife's availability. And as for your job, it might not be really easy for you at the moment. I won't even come and lie to you and say, yes, you will come here and get a job immediately. Even if you get a job immediately, you guys still have child care to deal with. You might not get the kind of job that you want to do immediately. You might just have to do the available jobs and it might not be what you like right but it's something you have to deal with i feel like it's very difficult to move abroad i've heard stories i've talked to some people and they're like i want to leave but my spouse doesn't want to leave i want to leave but my spouse has issues with it for the single ones it's very easy okay once you have opportunity to move abroad you just carry your bag and you've traveled and then if you don't have things going on well for you in your country like you're struggling it's very easy once you get the opportunity you've carried your bag without even thinking twice and you've traveled but it's a different ball game if you have things going on well for you like we already read from this email he has things going on for him in his workplace I might even have businesses in place right if you've dealt with this kind of thing before let us know in the comment section how you were able to overcome it right because we really want to learn I'm sure a lot of people watching these videos are also watching to learn all right yeah. so this was my response to him I said first I'll say congratulations to you both on your wife getting a job Concerning your daily ma, I think it's important that couples are on the same page when it comes to migration. This is because it can be very stressful settling in a new country. The last thing you want is combining that with family issues. As per your job, yes, you may have to start from scratch, but it does not mean you will take long to get into what you really want to do, like the kind of job you want. I assume you have a background in accounting or related field, so there is a bit prospect in that field if you're experienced and have good certifications. However, if you really feel very comfortable with your present job in Nigeria and your wife is happy not to make the move, that's okay. But if she has to make the move, I'll definitely advise you both move here with your kids or else it's going to be very difficult for her with those kids especially. Honestly, it's very difficult for one parent to come here with kids. It's very difficult. Like, you're going to struggle really. 
okay it's already difficult for even two people then how can only one person deal with that it's it's a whole lot okay how do you combine that with your work with child care taking your kids to school and all those things and kids have to go to school if your child is supposed to be in school and he or she is not in school it's an issue right except he or she is ill and you, of course you have to call your gp and inform them so his wife alone cannot deal with that it's going to be a whole lot of stress on her path how she deal with her work she's on a contract right she's on a contract so she has to fulfill the terms of her contract she has to go to work so for nurses here yeah, most of the time they go to job from 7 30 to 8 p.m in the night and school is like 8 45 p.m 9 o'clock how do you do that even if you want to be permanently on night shifts right with your kids sleep alone if they find out it's an issue here so it's really difficult so the husband really has to join them for the sake of the kids and i also feel like for business like if you have your business in place already in your home country it's way easier though it's not really like you it's not going to be like you staying and running the business by yourself but if you already have channels in place you already have workers people you are paying and people that are running the business for you it's going to be easier you can be traveling once in a while to check up on your business and all of that i think it's way easier if that is your case but if you have a job where you have to resign and then move to a country where you have to now start afresh you know it's quite difficult but to me though i feel like uk is not bad like this is my opinion though because there are so many things that we enjoy here that we didn't enjoy in nigeria yes i feel like you might have a good job in your home country but uk still has its own benefits okay so you would want to consider moving to the uk but it's all your decision to make okay it all depends on what you guys want discuss with your wife you guys should lay everything on the table the pros and cons look at it for yourself and for your kids whatever is best for your family whatever you guys decide then that's fine so don't worry when you come here you will get a good job it might not be immediately but maybe later you will still get the kind of job that you want to get especially if you have the right certifications if you have enough experience they're looking for in the uk it might not be immediately but you will get it okay and you might even come here and discover that you love something else you might come here and take up a different career and love something else it happens we've seen things like that so it all depends on you so just take your time and do what's best for you and your family so thank you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.